Congratulations! Congratulations, Erica Slezak. On March 17th, Erica Slezak celebrated her 40th anniversary as Victoria Lord Davidson on One Life to Live. Here's to you, Erica. suspense. What'd you find out? Look, Vicky, the judge just ordered the file unsealed. I haven't even had time to read it. Hank, for 18 years I have been waiting for the proof that Dorian killed my father. Is it there or isn't it? And please don't feel you have to protect me. I know that my father had syphilis. Yeah, I know, I know. But th that isn't it. The problem is, the coroner at the time wasn't exactly meticulous. The details were a little sketchy. Well, for the most part. He mentions there was a gash on your father's face that was still bleeding when Victor died. A gash? You don't get that from a stroke, do you? You get that from a struggle to survive. Come on, Don. Don't start drawing conclusions. Oh, Hank, you know it and I know it. You said you wanted physical evidence. Well, that's it. This will back up Ethel Crawford's story. Now you can arrest Dorian for my father's murder. Can't you? Look, a cut on the face is a long way from proving that Dorian deliberately... Hank, she killed him! Come on, he was weak and sick and he was still trying to fight her. She was a doctor. She probably had a syringe, injected him and caused the stroke. Come on, Vicky, I can't go into court with that kind of a supposition. Well, you don't have to. You've got Ethel Crawford. You bring her up here and have her tell everything she knows. You have her sworn statement, don't you? And now you have the corroborating evidence from the coroner's report. Come on, you said you needed physical evidence. There it is. If that isn't it, I don't know what is. Yeah, well, I wish I had more. I mean, any good DA would want more. All right, I'll tell you what. As soon as I can get a judge to issue a warrant, I'll have the police go pick her up. Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> yeah, I understand this. I understand it's, it's very unusual. But if you would just read the coroner's report with my notes attached. Uh, yes, sir. It, absolutely. That's all a man can ask. Thank you, sir. Well? <sighs> Judge Hawkins loves to take his time. That is the one thing we don't have. Uh, listen, Vicki, without a warrant, there's nothing we can do. Hello! Honey, say hello to our new police commissioner. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Hi, honey. Wasn't um, Bo just wonderful at his swearing in? Oh, absolutely. As my daughter Jessica would say, you were awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Vicky. I'll tell you, that party at the department, that wasn't bad either. Uh, -huh. uh listen, Bo, well, I'm sorry I couldn't stay for the reception. How um, I just speech go, huh? Not bad. Oh, it was terrific. I especially like that line about the privilege being able to sidestep the law when the poor got it shoved in their face. Well, hey, I, you know, I didn't get picked for this job uh, because I'm a cop. I got picked because there are people who start getting the impression that the law can be bought. Yeah, people with money getting away with murder has been on my mind a lot lately. Oh, these two are so serious, don't you think? You're, you're right. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, there... There's something else to celebrate, uh, besides Bo's new appointment. Oh, something else? Mm -hmm. Yes, something else, a little more personal. Uh, baby, you are still wearing your gloves? Oh, yes. Sheila! Hank, you dog. How come you didn't say anything to anyone? Uh, Bo, we, we just did. I mean, look, all you got is a new job <laughs> for me. I'm marrying the woman that I love with all my heart. <laughs> we made a killing. 
There's just no other word for it. Oh, yes, there is. It's called charity. We grossed over five figures last night. You call that charity? My favorite one. Me. Oh, I just hope those old fat cats in Landview will continue to be generous. Oh, Alex. Gambling's so much fun. Especially when you own the house. It would be more fun for you if you had a house wife. <laughs> you still think you're going to win that silly marriage bet? I know I am. When I do, that's when you will really be a winner. Oh, what a dump. And a dead one to boot. Come on, let's forget the uh, fun and games and... Uh-uh, yeah. no, 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 not yet. Come on. Uh-oh. Sorry, ladies. You're not welcome here. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> you two aren't ladies. Is that any way to treat a guest, Asa? You were allowed in here opening night, that's it. I told you it was a private club. I don't intend to ever let you buy a membership. Same thing goes for you, Dorian. Now walk on out of here or fly out on your brooms. Hmm? <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what you see in a guy, Sheila, but if he makes you happy... Be better. <laughs> Oh, go easy on him, guys. He's already made me very, very happy. So when is the uh, big day? Hmm? Well, actually, we haven't decided. Uh, he just proposed to me on Valentine's Day. Yeah, well, you know, most guys, they give candy and roses for Valentine's. But me, mm -hmm. the sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, <clears throat> rings are nice, but let me uh, give you a little piece of advice. That line about diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yeah. They still want shoes and rice. <laughs> oh, do they? Oh. Ooh. Let me get my foot out of my mouth, then I like to. <laughs> it's your idea. Excuse me. Oh. Yes. You know. <clears throat> yeah, get it. Don't forget now. The engagements are very nice. Marriage is much nicer. And that goes for another couple I can think of. Mm. I never said never, did I? Mm. Did you? Never say never. Yeah, never. No. Well, I tell you, between his workload and my caseload, we're probably not planning any, excuse me, any time too soon. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Hey, what is it? Judge Hawkins has issued the warrant. Thank you, Judge Hawkins. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, I think we seem to be out of the loop here, Commissioner. Yeah, well, what's the warrant for, Hank? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. I'm giving you your first official assignment as police commissioner. The distinct honor of arresting Dorian Lord. Membership has its privileges, doesn't it, Aunt Dorian? If you can call membership in a place like this a privilege. <laughs> Where did you get those cards? I bought them. From who? Alex. Alex, you... We are in the business to make money, partner. No, you cannot make money unless you take money from paying customers. So, please, show us to the gaming table. Oh, hold, hold on, you two. I had a... I thought that you two hated each other's guts. We're family. Families unite in times of crisis. Oh, yes, yes. I, I heard about poor Cassie's trouble. But if you think you can slither around my casino... If you think you can stop me... I'll handle the membership situation, darling. But I desperately do need your help in the kitchen with the chef. He's having a terrible... He's having fits with the chili. He insists that it has to have tomatoes. Tomatoes in my Texas chili? Never, never. <sighs> thank you, Alex. Yes, thank you very much. Don't mention it. Why did you think we should come to this circus? Please, I, I, let's go someplace with a bit of class and, oh, I want to call Andrew. Are you expecting somebody? What? No, I was just looking to see if maybe we would run into some certain people that we know. That's would all. certain people include Max Holden? <laughs> Dorian, my days of chasing Max Holden around town are... Okay. 
fine. I've seen him since I've been back, and... Well, maybe it's just a little tough to get him out of my head, but... Dorian, that's normal, isn't it? You better learn how, and quickly, dear. He's married to Luna Moody. They're disgustingly happy. I know that. And believe me, do you think I like having these feelings? I don't. I don't. I hate it. Sometimes what we want and what we think that we want are... Well, they're two different things. Please, Andrew. Look, we have got to put aside our differences for Cassie's sake. The problem that I have is that every time I... I trust you, every time I take you into confidence, you... you throw it right back in my face, Dorian. Look, I promise you... I'm not going to try to make trouble. I, I swear it. it it's... Look, both of us want the same things, don't we? we? We both want Cassie to make a complete recovery. I just want to help. Even if it means keeping your distance. Please, just promise me you won't shut me out. Dorian. All right. I promise. But you promised me something in return. Anything. You promised me that you will abide by the doctor's judgment and you will abide by mine. I will do whatever is best for Cassie. We are doing what's best. You want to be a member of the team, you play by the rules. Or I promise you will, you will never get close enough to Cassie to hurt her again. Well, I don't know about you, but I've got better ways to waste my money. Oh. You might think of investing in a good lawyer. Vicky? Hello? I assume you're here to support Asa in his latest uh, crude venture. Good luck. Come on, Blair. Not so fast, Dorian. We came here expressly to find you. Your maid said you'd be here. Why? Is there something wrong with Cassie? As far as we know, her condition remains unchanged. Thank you for that, Vicky. Then what do you want with me? For starters, you could tell me when you and Blair became such pals again. Well, it's more like a truce, Vicky. Ever since Cassie was hospitalized, we thought we would set aside old grudges and bond as a family. It's called forgiveness, Vicky. You should try it. Dorian, you have an appointment downtown. No, Bo. I'm on my way to St. Anne's, actually, to visit my daughter. Not that it's any business of yours, Buchanan. I'm afraid that it is, Dorian. And by the way, the name is uh, Commissioner Buchanan. Police? What's going on here? Something that should have happened 18 years ago. Dorian Lord, you are under arrest for the murder of your late husband, Victor Lord. An ABC News Brief. return to One Life to Live, which is already in progress. Poor child has been through so much. I don't even... I just don't know what'll happen to her when she finds out her mother's in jail. Cassie. Cassie? Vicki, what did you just say about my mother? Dorian has been arrested for the murder of my father. Well, they can't lock a tiger in a cage. They can't trap a tiger. They can't... I wouldn't dare. Oh, I will get back at Vicky. I'll get back at her if it's the last thing I do. Oh. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't take it in here for another minute if there's no air. 
Well? Hello, Dorian. I'm sorry, but it took so long. I had to find the ski patrol to get him off the slopes. I was on top of the mountain. I don't need a ski report. Well, I hear you've gotten yourself in quite a pickle this time. No, I'm here for the prison concert. What's wrong with this picture? Hey, why are we all standing here? You arranged for bail, I'm getting out of here, right, Matron? I've got bad news on that. Bo Buchanan just told me your arraignment isn't until tomorrow. What? For crying out loud, what kind of a lawyer are you? Not yours, Dorian. What are you talking about? I can't take your case. I can't get you out of this one. In fact, this time, I don't think anyone can. Hey, has the whole world gone mad? What do you mean you can't handle my case? You fired me, Dorian, remember? No, I didn't. And even if I did, so what? <laughs> I mean, it's not important now. Well, it is to me. I have to eat. And ski. Dorian, your office cuts off my retainer. I need to find another position, which I did. Oh, that's all right. We can handle it. No, it's not all right. Helping you is going to be a definite conflict of interest. You see, I'm the new attorney for the banner. Oh, oh you slime. You let Vicky hire you, you snake! Dorian, I don't have to listen to all this, okay? I just came here to tell you face to face that you are on your own on this. Guard. You win, great. After everything that I've done for you. Okay. So here's a little free advice. After looking over your case, my advice to you is get a lawyer. Trust me, I will. The best, the most powerful. Get a miracle worker, Dorian. Because that's what you're going to need to get out of this one. Dorian, I I'm sorry. If I had known that he was going to do that, I wouldn't have bothered oh, getting him right. off the slope. You were just trying to help. Thank you. Well, it didn't work. And once again, I'm all alone. No, you're not. Oh, please. <laughs> I haven't been inundated with concerned messages and phone calls. There isn't a long line of people waiting out there to see me. I'm here. Yeah, you're here. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I... Well, I... I guess that I feel sorry for you. Please. I don't need anybody's pity. Well, okay then, Dorian. How about, um... I care about you? You care? You care? Why? Because this past year, I, um, I think I know or have learned what lonely is. Oh, please. Lonely, you don't know the half of it. Okay, Dorian, like you say, whether you like it or not, we're stuck with each other. And at the end, there's nothing more important than, uh, family, right? Family. My family. <laughs> Poor Cassie. What's going to happen to her when she finds out about all of this? Honey, let's go upstairs. Oh, Cassie, I'm so sorry. That's a dreadful thing for you to overhear. Maybe we should leave. I... I'm so sorry. Sweetheart. Why don't, we, why don't we go talk about this alone, okay? Vicki, I want you to start at the beginning. The beginning, darling, this goes back a very long time. I'll try to explain. I'm the one who started all this. The research for my book, as you know, turned up some serious questions about Dorian's involvement with Victor Lord's death. Questions that have never been answered. Sweetheart, we all know that this is, that 
This is the wrong time for this to come spilling out. Cassie, if there were any way that we could have protected you from this, we would have. God knows the last thing anyone wanted to see was you hurt. See, as we started digging and investigating, things began to move very, very quickly. Incriminating evidence came out. Evidence that was so serious that Hank Gannon had to launch his own official investigation. And once he was faced with the evidence... He had no choice. He had to arrest your mother. Cassie, you and Dorian have had your differences in the past, but now this. I'm, I'm, I'm just so sorry. The investigation was out of our hands long ago. That's true, you know, honey. We couldn't have stopped it even if we had wanted to. And we never said anything to you beforehand because, quite frankly, we didn't know what we were going to find and we didn't want to add to your problems. Lord knows you've had a difficult enough time. Honey, are you all right? Please say something, please. My poor Cassie. She's lost her baby. She's locked up in St. Anne's. She's not Oh, even... but no, she's not. I'm so sorry. I, I meant to tell you that right off the top. She's home, Dorian. What? She's home? Yes. I called to check on Mother, and they said that she had been released. I'm sorry. Yes. Released? What does that mean? That... Well, they said that she was much improved. <laughs> she <Yes>. is. <laughs> oh. oh, thank God. Oh, that is such a relief to me. Oh, but wait. If she's home, that means that she's She'll be able to handle this a lot better, I think. Handle what? <laughs> Please, she's gonna hear that I've been arrested for murder, that what? I'm locked up she, in this maybe hell she hole. She hear about it right away. Maybe, you know. Oh, come on. You... She's still in a very fragile state, and when she... I've got to get out of here. I, 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 I've got to be the one to tell her. Well, Dorian, first. You're going to have to get yourself a lawyer. Oh, no, you're going to get me a lawyer. You get me the best lawyer. I mean, for goodness sakes, I mean, th there are... There are rapists, there are murderers, serial killers running around out on bail, and I'm locked up here? I've got to get to Cassie. I've got to... I've got to talk to her. I have to be the one to tell her before someone else does. Cassie, I wish there had been a good way to tell you this. Let me help you. I can manage, thank you. Andrew. Sweetheart, you know, we're thank just a little bit worried about you. That's it's amazing it. how messy things can get. Cassie, come on. Just listen to me just, just for a second now. You know, I promised the doctors at St. Anne's that, that you were going to get a lot of rest, so I'm not just thinking we should go upstairs, maybe lie down for a while, huh? No, Andrew, I'm all right. I'm... I'm upset, but that doesn't mean I'm going to fall to pieces. Actually, there's a... What, honey? There's something I have to do, and something I have to do alone. I, I have my own questions, and I want to find answers. Okay. Hey, I can't... I, I, I... I don't want to let you just walk out of here. No, Andrew. I'll tell you, I am, really. I, I, sweetheart, I know you were probably very scared the way I was acting, but I'm better now, okay? So trust me. Trust, I trust you. I trust you, okay? So I'm not going to let you go anywhere alone. You tell me where you want to go, I'll take you there, okay? Fair enough. Okay, okay. let's go. <laughs> So, you look terrific. <laughs> Ready to do battle? Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> now then, you're going to need money. You're going to need cash. Lots of it. Uh, paper, pencil. Oh, I got one in here. I am going to give you the number to my safe deposit box at Landview Federal. The key is in my middle drawer, left-hand corner. Okay? Mm -hmm. I keep gobs and gobs of money there. Something I learned from Victor Lord, ironically. Yes. He always said, 
Keep lots and lots of money around, enough to buy an island, in case you have to quickly get away from the mainland. There should be definitely enough money for bail, then. Oh, yes. The most outrageous bail. Given the way the people feel about me, it will be set higher than that for molesters of elderly saints. <laughs> Blair, do not, even for a millisecond, dear, entertain the slightest fantasy of once again taking my money and running. I won't, and I wasn't. Because I can and I will be very vindictive. Relax, Dorian. I know you. And I know you. Help me, Blair. And you won't have to steal my money. I'll give it to you. Deal. Deal. Oh, matron! Matron! I'm counting on you. Oprah, how we got people to stop using these and wind up with a lot more of this. Cassie. Oh, my darling. You shouldn't be in a place like this. But you're here, Mother. I shouldn't be in a place like this. You just got released from St. Anne's, and you still got to be careful, you know. You're looking, you're looking much better. How are you feeling? Fine, Mother. Oh, sweetheart, I wanted so much to you know, be out of here so that you wouldn't have to see me like this, so that you wouldn't have to see me in this place. I wanted to talk to you. I'm here. I, I wanted to... I didn't want to tell you how this whole horrible mess happened, but you already know. Yes. That I've been charged with murder. <laughs> Who told you? Biggie and Sloan. Yeah, well, that was my worst fear. I did not want you to hear it from them. I didn't want you to hear their lies. Mother, stop it. Cassie, please. Don't let them divide us again. Before you make up your mind, you've got to hear my side. Mother, stop it. Not another word. Not until you hear what I have to say. Oh, Dorian, you're not kidding. Not only could you buy an island, but a boat to get you there. There are thousands of dollars sitting right here in, in this box. Oh. <laughs> oh. The Wild Rose Club now. <laughs> I don't know, but I could take this as a sign. All of this money. And then if I'm feeling lucky. Well. That's a few hundred between a niece and an aunt. Did I miss it? Besides, 
what our families for. Oh, Sloane, I feel so awful. The look on Cassie's face, the hurt. I, I can't get it out of my mind. I know, I know. We won't for a long time. You know, I've... I've really come to love Cassie as my own daughter. I know you have. But she had to know all these ugly truths yes. about her mother. She had to. Yes. I've said it before, and I meant it. I have only just realized the enormity of what I've done. I know. It's chilling. But it's what Dorian deserves. And thus far, all that's happened is Dorian's arrest. There is more to come. Well, where, they, where did they go? I mean, they've been gone for so long. Uh, wherever. At least Andrew is with her. I think. Yes, well, thank heavens for that. Those poor kids, they've been through so much this year, and now Dorian gets arrested. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Well, it wouldn't make any difference if I did. It's out of our hands now, isn't it? It's in the hands of the law. Yes. And justice will be done. But at what expense? First of all, there's something I have to explain. There's no need to. Well, for me, there is. The doctor explained to me that the reason why I said those things to everyone, made those accusations, was because I had temporarily given up dealing with reality. The loss of two babies was too much. It would be for anybody. Yeah. But whenever I needed you, whether I called or knocked on your door, you immediately tried to help. And I always will. With the adoption, you... Uh, you truly worked to make it happen. I know that Andrew loves me, but... There were times when he just didn't seem to understand. But you did. I tried. I know. And for that, I'm grateful. I truly am. In fact, I want you to know, as I begin to heal and everything starts getting back into perspective, uh, I feel I'm finally ready to forgive you. True forgiveness for everything. Oh, oh darling, thank you. Thank you. And now this. Oh, yes. This, this, this. This crime. A crime that I have been falsely accused of. This crime is what's responsible for all the misery I've had to face this last year. I... Mother, you've done everything in your power to keep this crime hidden. But it keeps coming up, doesn't it? So now you have to tell me and it has to be the truth. That's one thing you have to understand, Mother. I can't deal with the insanity of lies. So you look me in the eye. And you tell me. Now, if it's the truth, whatever it is, I'll be here for you. But it has to be the truth. Did you kill Victor Lord? My mother. Did you kill Victor Lord? I've done a lot of terrible things in my life. I love 
love life. I love life so much that I couldn't possibly take another life. Cassie, you believe me. I mean, don't you hear me? You, you... Honey? Honey, look. Look at me. Honey. Women, are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Yes. So you, you believe me? I mean, you know I couldn't. I couldn't possibly be a murderer. I, you know that, don't you? You believe me. You believe me, you do. Oh, Cassie. I love you so much. You all right? I am. The question that I had? Yes. I have my answer. Is Ned ready for his latest challenge? Lois's family? Stay tuned for General Hospital next. <laughs> 